Success isn't about greatness. It's about consistency. No one's born great. You don't get to choose how you start in this life, but you do get to choose what you do. We all have a choice when it comes to building our future. If you show up day after day and work hard, if you give your full effort, if you leave nothing on the table, then greatness and success will come. You'll be faced with difficult situations. There'll be times that you don't believe in your ability to persevere. There'll be times you feel incapable of rising to meet the challenges that face you. You'll be tempted to turn your back and run, but running is never the best option. When you're in the middle of a struggle, the only way out is through. Rather than running away from obstacles or trying to figure out some kind of way around them, go right through them. Brace yourself, steady your nerves, put your head down, and tackle whatever you face head on. The storm may jar you a bit, but I promise that you won't buckle and you won't break. Believe in your ability to weather the storm. When you come out on the other side, you'll be better for showing your strength. The fears you face along the way, they'll make you better. Our biggest fears always carry with them the greatest opportunity for personal growth. Our fears and how we face them brings out the best in us. If something doesn't scare us, if something doesn't challenge us, it doesn't change us. In life, we have two choices. We either step forward, expose ourselves to risk and evolve, or we play it safe and we step backwards into the shadows. Your dreams aren't going to come true on their own, so it's time to get to work. It's not going to be easy. Great things never get dropped in your lap and they never start from comfort zones. If you want to be something you've never been, you need to do something you've never done. Scary, right? Wrong. You know what's really scary? Being trapped in a perpetual cycle of unhappiness. Looking at yourself in the mirror each day and not liking the reflection you see staring back at you. Don't live your life like that. At any time, you can change your circumstances and you can change your life. You have the power to do anything you want to do. You just need to be willing to do things differently than you've done before. You need to be willing to take risks. You need to be daring. If you're willing to step out of your safe zone, if you're willing to stand at the edge of the cliff and jump, if you're willing to do what you've never done, you'll give yourself the power to become what you've never been. Will it be easy? Probably not. But if you want to change your life, you'll need to do what's right, not what's easy. Too many people choose the easy road even when they know it's not the right road. Take the path less traveled. Real greatness isn't determined by some birthright or fate. Real greatness is determined by what you do with the hand that you're dealt. The true secret of success is to accept the truth that the only path is the path of hard work and productivity. You'll get where you want to go and achieve your goals if you follow four simple rules. Show up, work hard, don't quit, and ask some questions along the way. Do you want to coast through life without fulfilling the potential that lives within you? Do you really want to wake up one day and realize that all of the dreams you have had have passed you by? Each one of us has dreams and we have passions. We have things that we want to accomplish. You're the only person who needs to be okay with how you live your life. You could be hated by everyone and if you're okay with your actions and behavior, you'll be content. At the same time, you could be loved and adored by every damn person on the planet. But if you're not okay with how you've lived your life, you'll go to bed with emptiness. At the end of the day, if you and you alone can look yourself in the mirror and be content with the choices you've made, then that's all that matters. Believe in everything that you are and understand that within you there's something greater than any obstacle you'll ever face. Have faith in your abilities. Work hard, never give up, and there's nothing you can't accomplish. So the key is to just do you. With the right amount of confidence, anything is possible. 
No matter what you set out to do, your first word should always be, I believe in me. The most important person to believe in is always yourself. In 30 days, if you don't make what they told you was gonna make, you got an attitude, you want your money back. But you've never demanded your money back from yourself. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you down. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because of the economy. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because it ain't the season. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because the opportunity ain't there. The truth of the matter is that you ain't there because you ain't there. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. And there's some of you, you know what you want, but you are not personally willing to do the work it takes to get it. What you're trying to do is do what you've done on this level and get the next level. You're like, I'm getting up every day. I'm putting in two and a half. I'm putting in three and I'm not getting the opportunity. The opportunity might require getting up and working out three and a half. It might require you saying no to your friends. It might require you changing your diet. It might require you moving to another city. Whatever it takes, you gotta be willing to do it. And you keep saying you're not there because of something else because it's easier to blame somebody else. That's the problem with some of you. You always wanna hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You owe you an explanation. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more alcohol, no more, no, we working out now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. We tired of this 60% you. We tired of this crying you, this complaining you. We tired of this furnishing. Greatness is in you, you are here. You here, leave your go go mark. You here, do something. So whatever you gotta do, you do it. And there are those of you who were this close, but you compromised. You let your feelings get the best of you. It's time for you to cut average. It's time for you to cut good, so you can finally get to great. There are no excuses. You cannot cheat success. You gotta work for it. You gotta breathe it. You gotta sleep it. You gotta eat it. You gotta put forth 120%. I didn't get here making excuses. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying, I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm gonna grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power. Every single day, I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. It only take one extra push up. It only take one extra mile. It only take one extra rain. It only takes one extra effort. It only takes one extra something to get you to where you're trying to get to. And the goal is, you gotta go a little further than the man who's trying to get what you're trying to get. And can't nobody stop me but me. For some of you, when you do what you do, you act as if you have another opportunity. I'm wired differently. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Every opportunity, I'm still nervous because the day you become content, the day you stop getting better, is the day you die, is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you. You gotta get this beast mode. You gotta embody beast mode. Everything about you has to say, I ain't playing. If it's to have, I'm gonna get it. And I ain't leaving none of it behind. It's mine. I'm coming to get it. If you want to be great, if you want to get the recognition, if you want to get fucking paid, if you want all of the things that you dream about, there is only one way to guarantee that you will have those things. Only one. And that is becoming so fucking good at what you do, no matter what it is you do, that it is undeniable that other people recognize how great you are. Becoming undeniable is not something that sticks with you in a certain role. It's a character trait that you can develop. That means any place that you are put, you will put in the work, you will learn the skills, you will improve your arsenal to become the undeniable best in that role. And if you have that attitude, to where it doesn't matter if you're cooking french fries or you're making 10 billion dollar business deals you are going to be the absolute best that you can fucking be and there's nothing that can stop you it doesn't matter where you come from it doesn't matter what your background is it doesn't matter what race you are what gender you are it doesn't matter who your fucking parents are 
Dude, we can make every excuse in the book. But I promise you, for every excuse you can make, there are literally thousands of people who had it harder than you that have done what the f*** you want to do. There is nothing that can f***ing stop you when you become so skilled that every single person around you sees that and it recognizes that. And that is a habit. That is not a gift. That is something that you can create. It's a skill you can learn. So develop the skill of becoming undeniable if you really want to guarantee your success. Be f***ing great. Put the time in to learn the skills. Put the skills into practice and make a commitment to becoming so good that all your peers say, that's the motherfucker that's the best. And if you can do that, you cannot be stopped. You think you become a champion on the field? You don't. You become a champion when ain't nobody watching you. When you're not doing what coach telling you to do. You're doing your own drills and your own way. You're doing what coach tell you to do and you're doing your own stuff. You become a champion in the dark when ain't nobody looking. You don't become no champion when you put no dog or helmet on. You become a champion the way you eat. You become a champion the way you think. You become a champion in your grind. And you just get on stage and you shine. It's about a commitment to you. That's what's wrong with a lot of you. Because you want somebody else to be more committed to you than you want to be to yourself. And you got to get to the point where no other human wants it for you more than you want it for you. I'm shocked more people are on beast mode. There are people who live from check to check and they comfortable. Listen to me, unless you number one in your industry, you shouldn't be chilling. And if you number one in your industry, you got enough common sense to know you better not be chilling. So I need that dog. Execute, execute, execute. Why? Because when you get results, you get rewards. If you really want this, you got to learn to sacrifice. You got to learn to give up to go up. You want affirmation, look yourself in the mirror and say, I think I can, I think I can, I know I can. Do whatever it takes, you your biggest driver. I wake up every single day and I get what I get because I live in beast mode. Y'all gotta do me a favor, stop being gazelle. You're not average, you're not even good. You were born to be great. So be phenomenal or you will be forgotten. The first level to success in life, listen to me, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. You know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. You know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. You gotta know what it looks like, tastes like, feel like. Because you don't, you're gonna compromise. I don't alter my mission at hand. No one fucks with me, because I don't allow them to. It's got to be that way. It's got to be unconditionally focused. What that means is that if you are in and you believe in yourself, no one can change that. Winners complain. Winners want to hear themselves talk. Champions do not complain. Why? Because they're focusing on what they said they wanted to do as a goal. You're not putting energy. You're not commanding your gift. You're not commanding your opportunity. You're not commanding your resources. You're not commanding your dreams and goals. You look at them jokers once every three months, if that. You better be looking at them jokers every day. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. I need us to look at all the possibilities, all of the potential, and I need us to go for it every single day. Monday grind, Tuesday grind, Wednesday grind, Thursday grind, Friday grind, Saturday grind, Sunday grind. Every opportunity that exists, I need you to go after it. If you want to be successful, if you want to dominate in the area, you got to let everything go but that thing you're pursuing. You can't chase two rabbits and catch both of them. So you put your attention on one and go after it. Champions are focused on the goal. They don't have time to be doing stuff that's not going to help them towards the goal. And so what you're focusing on throughout the course of the day, it has to change. What you're looking at, what you're reading, what you're watching, the conversations you have. You must now be focused on your dreams. You must be focused on your goals. When you are great, you don't focus on a week. When you are great, you don't focus on a month. When you are great, you don't focus on a year. You concentrate on the 24 hours that's in front of you and you nail it. If you plan to shake up this world, then you have to hustle. That is the secret. That is the reason Michelangelo said, if you knew how much work I put into my art, you would not call it Jesus. You know how hard I worked to get here? I put in too many hours. 
I sweat too much blood, too much tears. I worked hard to get here. Didn't nobody give me this. I didn't grow up with wealth. Didn't nobody pay me. I worked for this. Sweat, blood, tears. I earned every dime I get. I worked for this. I put in time. We have to stop making excuses. We have to stop letting into distractions. We have to stop getting unfocused. Everyone wants to win, but few want to prepare. Few want to put in the work that it truly takes. Few want to really love the process. Most of us are just addicted and obsessed with the result and what we want. But really, the magic is in the being and the process. The magic is in the day-to-day. The magic is in the work. The magic is in the practice. The magic is in the moment when we become the winner before we even won.